Brachytherapy or seed implant is another form of delivering radiation therapy to the prostate. The advantage of it is it's that in a more localized fashion. It involves inserting tiny seeds smaller than a grain of rice, evenly distributed throughout the prostate. It's done under general anesthesia on an outpatient basis. Very similar to how we do a prostate biopsy, an ultrasound probe is inserted into the rectum and small needles are inserted into the perineum, the space between the rectum and the scrotum. And through these needles, we visually will place seeds throughout the entire prostate. These seeds can deliver either iodine-125 or palladium-123. And depending on the half-life, you can be radioactive for up to one year. Brachytherapy or seed implant is good for men who have low-risk disease as a monotherapy, meaning that is the only treatment. The advantage is that it's a one-shot deal. The seeds are placed and you're done. You typically may have a catheter overnight, will go home, and you can get back to regular activities in less than one week. There's little pain or discomfort associated with it. You may notice some increased frequency of urination, slowing of your urine stream, and some mild burning. That can last up to six months. There are medications used to treat these side effects. In some cases, brachytherapy will be used in combination with external beam therapy, typically in men with intermediate risk disease, such as a Gleason 7 or T2C, T3 disease. In those cases, we will treat with seeds in a lower dose and then boost the radiation with a shortened course of external beam radiation therapy entailing approximately 25 treatments. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. Others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is. So most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, the test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed, allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.